72-year-old Joanne Welsh is a nurse and was on her feet all the time until her hip started to hurt. It was never really pain. It was always burning. Joanne needed a new hip. Doctors replaced her old joint with a titanium stem and ball and socket. She was careful to follow what doctors call hip precautions during recovery. So you should not be crossing your legs. Uh, you should not be bending your hip beyond 90 degrees for about six to eight weeks after the procedure. Joanne followed doctor's orders, but weeks after surgery, she turned her torso slightly and had sudden searing pain in her hip. And I felt it pop. So I sat down on the ground, which was the only place I could get myself to, and I shimmied across the entire backyard on my behind. Joanne's hip dislocated, not just once, but three times over a period of months. No pain at all here, right? Yeah. Excellent. Orthopedic surgeon Nakul Kakari met Joanne in a New York hospital after the third dislocation and thought she would be a good candidate for a newer joint. It's a constrained liner, which means that the head is somewhat fixed in to the socket. It snaps in and it's extremely difficult for the hip to come out. With the newer joint, patients have a better range of motion, which also helps to prevent dislocation. A lot of it is mental. You know, you're just waiting for this to happen again. With her new replacement, Joanne is confident that her days of dislocation are behind her. I'm Marty Salt reporting.